Hey folks, this is IOE Thrower. I'm back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Mr. Zeus. He's back. This time is WZ-132. This is a tier 10 game on the way, folks. And this is the Chinese Light Tank, tier 8. Um, so this is going to be an interesting game. We're going to see a little bit of spotting damage done. And um, I haven't done a Light Tank mission, or a Light Tank game involving spotting in a while. So I figured, why not? If you guys want to know how to sp spot on Live Oaks, then I'm guessing we're going to find some strats out on how to do that. Um, I generally cut that corner a little bit tighter. But yeah, you can get down in here, so, uh, that bush, or... Yeah, that's, uh, this is in fact where he's going to end up going. Don't knock the tree over. Don't knock the tree over. <laughs> um, if you knock the tree over... All that does is alert some everybody that there's a, something here, um, or you can also get aggressive and push up into this area. Uh, but you really have to be line and be the first one there to to get up into that area and be able to spot from up there. Um, it looks like he's decided there's nothing here worth him looking at. Uh, I don't. He, he obviously doesn't have binox on. Um, I'm wondering if he's got. Uh, coated optics on. It's been so long since I drove this tank, I can't remember what its spotting range actually is, so I can't tell you uh, if he in fact has coated optics on or not. And my mods don't tell me that. <laughs> I was like, I don't have mods turned on right now. Ooh, a Scorpion G. Now, from here, he can actually reverse and fire through this bush and start doing damage to the Scorpion if he wants to. Apparently he doesn't want to. I mean, it is a risky move to do, especially from this position, because um, there are things that can, you know, spot you and do damage from you to you or from over here. But apparently our STTRV uh, that's way in the back has has pinging us. He wants us to do something for him. I'm gonna assume he wants us to push forward. Um, and there's nothing for, for us to spot. There's nothing on that hill. Otherwise, we would have spotted from back there. The only place something could be on that hill is um, in that bush. Turns out, look, there's a enemy <laughs> scout tank right here. And we didn't see him and he didn't see us. And nice job circling him. I love the fact that Mr. Zeus manages to circle the enemy R2. Gets all the spotting off. Doesn't get shot. And gets out of there. Unfortunately, not able to kill the enemy scout. That would have been like the cherry on the top. Um... But it was well done. And we got a thousand damage. Well, anyway, so far. I mean, it's obviously not we just going to end the game on. Because it would be a little weird if, if that's the epic game I showed today. But, you know, it's still, it's, it's you know, barely three minutes into the game. Our team hasn't really engaged the enemy. And we've already got a thousand spying damage. That's not bad at, at all. Nothing to shake a stick at. Anyway. Um, unfortunately, he's in an irritating spot because he can't really push up to like I mean he could go up to this bush line if you want to um, but it'd be a rather risky spot to start shooting from he got spotted just now by the RU uh, and it's going to back up far enough that we can put a shot into it and actually track it now if artillery could land a shell on it it would die he blind fires the same location unfortunately apparently the R2 or RU 251 has fixed his tracks and moved. And so he's gonna, looks like he wants to blind fire it one more time. Doesn't end up doing that. And just in fact gets, uh, starts looking for other spots. Apparently, enough enemies are moving over to the town that we're not, in fact, gonna get any more spots. Reversing up here. So the re reason you reverse into cover is that, uh, you always go faster forward than backwards. So if you reverse into cover uh, for spotting, you can hit force and just get yourself out of there if you suddenly need to leave. And obviously downhill force is much faster than, you know, um, it would be if he was trying to go uphill and backwards or something like that. Or even downhill and backwards, right? And so he's setting himself up for success when he pulls into that bush backwards. It's a little weird to do, and it's very weird on the controls. You're definitely going to have to practice it a couple times before you really realize, you know, 
and you don't drive backwards into the enemy instead of driving forwards away from the enemy when they start shooting at you. But it's still it's still a good strategy that you definitely want to practice if you want to do scouting for any real amount. Now, unfortunately, we haven't really done anything in a little while, and um, apparently it's too early in the morning, and I'm yawning. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and so, well, we took our first damaging chop for for a while. <laughs> Uh, and now the enemy has slaughtered the rest of our team in the city, and they're pushing out of the city. Uh, and so now we can actually get some nice side shots on them. Ooh, unfortunately, of course, he pulls fire just as we fire, and so we don't get that shot into the side of the uh, super gonk. And that one apparently flew high, looking for the tracking shot. He does get the tracks blown off. And so now he's gonna get some flying damage if this thing if sees any hits. Or he's just gonna kill it himself. Oh no. No, that was five hundred spotting damage, tracking damage, whatever. Um and then of course he, he finishes it off. So that's good. I don't know why I'm yawning so much, guys. <laughs> it's late enough in the day that that I'm normally up and about by now, but apparently not today. My body is all like, eh, you, you need to go back to sleep. <laughs> not how my day normal works. Um, he's still looking for shots on that 268. Obviously, we want to take it out of the game as soon as possible. I don't think he's going to get any on it, though. Uh, and now, pulling up on this Amex, he's in fact obviously going to get lit. And he's looking to just take it out of the game. Unfortunately, it gets a snapshot off on him as he gets one off on it. And so we're down to about half health. And they definitely know we're still over here now. But the 268 doesn't appear to be looking um, to do anything about that. And nice tracking shot, by the way. That was more or less just a snapshot uh, that, in fact, resulted in the track. As this 268 just refuses. I don't know what he was doing, but <laughs> he just kept popping up in weird places. And weird angles and for a while we just couldn't get a shot on him but of course then the snapshot takes his tracks off and we get a bunch of spine damage off on him there's only two enemies left um i do would like to note or highlight the fact that so far in this game mr zeus has done more damage by tracking opponents than he, he has by traditional spotting methods he's not just uh you know sitting in a bush and waiting He's actually going out and tracking opponents, and that's how he's got getting a lot of the tracking damage. Um, unfortunately, though, this is how the game is going to end. Well done, sir. We're going to jump over and see his brave results now. This was his mastery, or his uh, mark one, mark, mark of excellence. Wow, my brain's not all engaged apparently. Uh, master badge, first class, spotter, fire for effect. He has three bombs for that. I mean, for that performance, three bonds is quite worth it and awesome. And Orlex for destroying um, tanks that are two tiers, or you know, at least a tier higher than him, or is it two tiers? No, it must be at least one tier higher than him. And in fact, he actually kills uh, two tanks that are two tiers higher than him, as he gets the Super Kong and the 140, both tier 10 tanks, out of the game. Top experience on the team. I mean, he was almost beaten up by the STRV. Who sat in the back and just farmed game damage all game, um, but the rest of his team is just far and away behind him on on experience earned and well done, sir. Uh, made a nice tidy little profit. This is one of the reasons I ran scout tanks as much as I did when I ran them because you just you get so much money um, for you know at the effort because of course you're getting all that income from the spying damage you're doing. And so if you're interested in running scout tanks, this is a strategy you can employ. And I hope it improved, oops, your understanding of scout tanks. And uh, hopefully you had a great day. Stay tuned for the bonus clip and have a great day as IOE throughout.